I'm, I'm Michael, I'm from Graz University of Technology and at the moment I'm the coordinator of uh, the European Leas Box project which primarily focuses on um, bringing learning analytics into schools and uh, to meet the reality in today's European classrooms. What are the barriers we have overcome in learning analytics in the last three years? I think the most important thing we've achieved is that at the moment we're at the peak of a, a very, very big hype over learning analytics and that um, we managed to utilize and use all the available very cool technologies, whether they're coming from Twitter or Google or Microsoft or if they're, whether they are homemade for uh, educationally meaningful purposes. And I think uh, this is a great achievement uh, we made over the past couple of years, I think. Where do you see learning analytics in five years time? Well. This perhaps is a point I'm a little bit more pessimistic that in the next years we can make a, a very big leap forward in terms of uh, what learning analytics can do. Because what we have is statistical information, we have data mining, we have uh, all sorts of visualizations which are based on uh, usually the available data coming from MOOCs, from online learning courses, from whatever. Um, but what I, what I don't see and what I really miss a little bit, even at this conference, is um, the pedagogical meaning of all that. So maybe you have a very cool, very cool um, analysis for estimating the dropout risk of particular students in your uh, massively open online course. So what do you do with this information? I think this is the key question. What do you do? what can you do as a teacher as an instructor as a trainer with um, the available information i think this requires bringing pedagogues the psychologists this human part much closer together with the technological side so um, if you and i am doing that working a lot with teachers and instructors you know that they have a spe uh, very specific uh, meaning of using technology in their classrooms. They have a specific mental model about what technology can do. They have a specific understanding of all those uh, fancy graphics and visualizations and statistical information. Now what we have to do is to bring the information we have coming from analytics closer to the understanding of teachers. And I think um, this is the biggest challenge we are facing at the moment when we are talking about learning analytics.